California should be leading, not languishing. This affects our students in Los Angeles. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, so here we are on a rainy day in the richest country in the world, in the richest state in the country, in a state as blue as it can be, and in a city rife with millionaires where teachers have to go on strike to get the basics for our students and close every single school in that city. Public education is not your plaything, billionaires. It belongs to the people of Los Angeles. Unacceptable. I support the strike because the teachers are holding fast. The only reason I would stay outside the doors when Reese, when the bell rings and Reese walks in and I stay out, the only reason I would do that is for what's at stake. It's an existential battle for the future of public education. You know, our teachers need our support, you know, the student support. And they need to know that, you know, we're on their side and that we want them to have, you know, a better, like, pay and just better conditions. Oh, we can have... 40 kids, so upwards to like 48 in some of my classes. And I mean, that's, that's a hard learning environment for anyone and for a teacher to organize, you know? I feel like it's a great thing because they're pretty much doing it for us and then doing it also for like the classroom sizes because with less, with, uh, less uh, when the classroom sizes are less, the t more teachers can get hired. So I feel like that could be a great thing for even more teachers to help us out and then also getting equipment and everything like that for us. I, I, I do not believe that the, that the Alley Unified School District is, is the enemy. Uh, I don't think charter schools are, are the enemy. I think the enemy is a, is a statewide and even nationwide lack of concern and support for, for, for public schools, uh, particularly schools that are predominantly uh, Latino and African American. Hey. 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 Hey.